What's up guys, it's Jay, more than to kill, and I'm back here on South Park, the stick of truth. And today, we're going to be taking a look at another easy achievement that you can get inside of this game. And if you're not familiar with the South Park game, there are four available classes to choose from. And most famously, the one that everybody picks because it's an absolutely hilarious name for the class is... Yeah, you guessed it. <laughs> it's, the, it's the Jew! You can actually pick to play as a Jew inside of this game. And I know it's a little bit fucked up and some people are a little bit under the religion and you might want to come here and start hating on me. But this is not my doing. This is inside of the game. And to pick up an easy achievement is while you're playing as the Jew, you gotta find Jesus. <laughs> That's right. You're gonna have to go and find Father Maxi right out in the middle of the town. I'm gonna show you where he is right now on the screen. And once you talk to him, he's going to tell you to go find Jesus. And all you have to do is go to the church. And you're going to see, you're going to see Jesus playing a little bit of, little bit of hide and seek. He's going to go, tee hee, tee hee. And you're going to pick him up really easy. He's going to be like, oh my God, you found me. How did you find me? Well, Jesus, you're not hiding very well. It's a, it's a very bad hiding place for motherfucking Jesus. So, wow, I don't. I think I ever was going to think I would say motherfucking Jesus on my channel. <laughs> I, love, I love doing these South Park videos. So anyway, after you do that, you're going to have to find Jesus one more time. Now doing this gets you two things. Number one, if you do it as a Jew, you're going to get yourself the achievement. Are we cool yet? Which is actually kind of funny and a hilarious reference because historically a lot of people blame Jewish people for selling out Jesus to the Romans. I'm not getting into that. I told you. I don't want to have to get into that. But to get Jesus for the second time, you're going to go to the church. And you're going to go ahead and move the lights to where it's shining on the cross. And once you turn off the lights, you will see Jesus' shadow. And you will be able to talk to him from behind the pulpit. And you will get yourself the achievement. Are we cool? And also, you will pick him up as a daily summon, which is actually fucking hilarious so i'm gonna let the video play out so you can see exactly what jesus's summit does and how hilarious it actually is and if you are a religious person please don't take this seriously because south park has a lot of satirical humor and it's not very serious it's just just poking a little bit of fun at people over time and history saying things and you know it's it's pretty funny it's it really is because it's fucking they're talking about, you know, Jews and Jesus not being cool with each other, but now they kind of are because in South Park, we just got an achievement. <laughs> so, my name is Jay, more than I have to kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank guys for watching. If you could leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. So go out there, get your Jew on, get your Jesus on. Make sure that everything is motherfucking cool. So like I said, my name is Jay. More than after kill. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna see you guys later. Lock and load. I know that is because you solve anything, but I kind of like it.